Okay, so the plan is we are going to make what's called an armature. An armature means a form or a frame for building um, around. And so we are going to use the um, aluminum foil to create the armature of our donut. So you are going to get a piece of aluminum foil and it's kind of a rectangle shape. We're gonna start on one of the shorter edges. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start rolling it. I'm not gonna crease it. I'm going to think of rolling it like a cylinder and I want it to be kind of loose. So I don't want my donut to be flat. So think of it like having some air inside of it. See how I'm rolling it? It's not flat. See how it's kind of round? You can see that there? Okay, so I'm gonna roll it. Can't be too big either, because our donut would be too big. So I'm just kind of rolling it around. All the way down. Can you see that? Okay, so now I'm going to form it into that donut shape. So just gently trying to keep it still nice and um, thick. I want my donut to be thick. I'm just gonna bring these two ends together. Now I want it to look like a donut. So I can tell there's some places that are too thick and too thin, but I just sort of overlapped the two parts. And I'm gonna put those together. If I need to tape these two parts together, I can just get a little bit of tape. And just a little bit of tape to tape these two. Now, it doesn't quite look to me like a donut. So what I'm going to do now is I can take some extra pieces of foil and you can just sort of wrap it around. And I'm doing it loosely to try to give me more of the right shape. Okay, so our first job is to just kind of keep wrapping till we get sort of that loose donut shape that we want to start building on with our paper mache. So I'm gonna keep working on that till I get just the right shape and then I'll be ready for my next step. All right, friends, the word of the day today is clean. We're gonna to try to keep all of the paper mache paste on our hands, on our armature, or on our placemats, okay? So I have my armature on the placemat. You are going to get a container of paper mache paste on a placemat. It's really important that it always stays on the placemat. Okay, when I open this up, Inside, I've got my paper mache paste. I'm gonna set it on top of the lid. Everything stays on the placemat. I also have my armature on my placemat. Remember, we're gonna keep the paste on in the bowl, on the placemat, or on our armature. So the first step of covering our um, tin foil is going to be using paper towels. So we're gonna get you a couple paper towels. You're gonna just rip your paper towels into long strips, okay? It's gonna make it easy for us to roll it around our armature. So I'm gonna scoot this over because you can see the, the paste. Here we go, ready? So I can take my piece and just kind of lay it in there really quickly. Now if I just pick this up and start slinging it around, oh my gosh, can you imagine what's gonna happen? You can see it dripping, it'd be a disaster. Don't do that, don't be that kid. So I'm gonna take this strip and I actually can use two fingers and kind of run it through my finger and drip off all the excess. So look, it should just be on the paper. It should not be dripping everywhere because I use my fingers like this together. Like a squeegee, okay? So now I've got this piece. Remember, I'm keeping it on the placemat. I'm not gonna let it drip on the table where the day is clean. Here's my armature. Now I've got this piece, and I can just start somewhere, and I can be wrapping it around. Sometimes I've gotta go through the hole, and back around my armature. So 
Hopefully you can lay it nice and flat. This one I was able to go around a couple times. Okay, that first layer is the hardest, but it's important that it's nice and tight against my tin foil. So once that piece is on, now I can grab another piece of paper towel, rip it into a strip, dip it in my paper mache. What's the next step? Oh yeah, I can't just pull this off here. I've got to squeegee it off with my fingers. Drip all that off in there. Now I can bring it over and start wrapping it around. My goal is going to be to cover all of the tin foil. So I'm gonna keep going all the way around covering all parts of the tin foil, top and bottom, with my paper towel strips. So that's your very first step, friends. Remember, I dip it in, I squeegee it off with my fingers. And then I start wrapping it around. Okay, this is the hardest layer. The first layer is the hardest layer because it doesn't want to stick to the armature. But our goal is to get it nice and flat. And wrapped around. Once we've gone all the way around with paper towels, we'll talk about what our next step would be. Okay, I've gone through and done my first layer of paper towels. Notice how it's really nice and tight to my armature. If your paper towels are all puffy and sticking out, it's not gonna look like um, it's covering our armature and that's what we want it to look like. Um, as you go, you'll notice too that you need less uh, paste because it's already kind of wet and so it makes it easier for it to stick. So this is my first layer of paper towels. Now the next layer is going to be regular paper. So you'll find that there's some white paper that we will come and give to you. Now I already got paste on my hands, so I'm just gonna use what's already on my fingers. And I'm gonna do the same process. This should be a little bit easier now for the paper to stick. Notice how I'm smoothing it down. And I want the pieces to overlap, so I'm gonna just keep grabbing pieces. It's better to have bigger pieces. And I can just lay it on there. If I need to put a little paste, I can just put some on with my finger. Notice how I'm not having to dip these ones because remember, this is already wet. So I can just take a piece, I can lay it on there. And if I need to, I can just put a little uh, paste on my hand and just sort of smooth it. I'm just trying to get it to cover all the parts of my donut. It's most important that we have the top of our donut covered. Um, we're not gonna worry too much about the bottom, but we do wanna make sure that the all the top and the side are covered with the paper. So remember, I can always just use what's on my hands. Everything's on the placemat. Can overlap it slightly. And I'm just gonna keep going all the way around my donut until I have a layer of of regular paper.